You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 326th episode of Potty Talk Live. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to monetize, stylize, and systemize your plumbing business. And we have a great program for you this evening. I know, right? I can't wait to get into this. Okay, the title of our program tonight is How to Make More Money, More Money, More Money, More Money with Your Plumbing Business. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. All right, so stick around. Hey, but it's good to see everyone already yeah, checking in. I know. It's good that, that you're checking in, baby. Thank you, honey. All right. Mm -hmm. How you doing? I'm doing, doing. fine. <laughs> you're right. looking fine. Oh, All right. Okay. okay. Hey. Yes. All right. Hey. Hey, JT. The hey, welcome proud to new parents that's of right. Mason. Mason Morris. Congratulations Mort. to JT All right. and the beautiful Tawny. Dana yes. is in the house. Hey, Mr. D. Busby, good to see you, Big D. D w. D.W. Let's go. Let's roll. All wow, right. D.W.'s in the house. It's our lucky day. Hey, you guys know what to do here. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're watching live, please top live. In, in the, the comments, comments, let us know that you, you're you part of the live social audience. Hey, if you've caught the replay, please type replay. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Just keep on listening. <laughs> All right. So, hey, yeah. we got everyone checking Happy in. Monday. Hey, Cle Cleet from Down Under. All right. Oh, welcome in. All right. Boy, oh, boy. Lots of Going crazy going down in. under. Yeah. All right. Aaron, good to have hey, you Aaron. here. All right. <laughs> BJ, BJ and Christy. Christy. All right. Hello. Hey, had a great um, time. Okay, notice. All right. Okay. That's just an inside joke. But go ahead. Yes. Had a great time with uh, the tier arenas. Tier arenas. Yeah, the, the family the uh, yesterday. Spur yes. of the moment. Mm -hmm. Freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We just said, uh, let's go. Hey, let's let's take the boat out. Yeah. And uh, the what are the Tirinas doing? Mm -hmm. Had a great time. Waiting on us to call to say, take the boat out. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> what they were doing. So. And uh, had a great time <laughs> hanging out with uh, them and the boys. Mm -hmm. Perfect right. Florida weather. It was and beautiful. then uh, they invited us over to uh, to their homestead. Mm -hmm. Their new homestead. The new homestead. Mm -hmm. I'm a nice Florida home with mm -hmm. a pool. I'm a little... <laughs> little jelly. A little jelly. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is nice. Uh -huh. You know? And then uh, had some fajitas. BJ did some oh, amazing man, BJ Texas can cook stuff. Some Meat. I know those Texans. I mean, know their, know their meat. I know, and then mm -hmm. the Baroness makes that hot sauce. Oh. <laughs> I know. Well, Golly. Then watched the movie, had so a good time. Then we right. worked out really, really hard this morning. We did. Anyway, we came right. Yes. I kind of went off there on a personal <laughs> thing here. We really had a good time. We did. You know, um, it was fun. thank you, Shelby, for putting that. Sign up for text messages. You never want to miss an episode of Potty Talk Live. That's so right. Just type text in the comments, and you will get notified when we go live every single time. Because if you miss an episode of Potty Talk Live. Mm -hmm. You're, You're gonna going die, to die, okay? You don't want to miss this stuff, especially mm -hmm. tonight. I can't wait to get into stuff. How can yeah. you make more money with your plumbing business? Mm -hmm. In fact, that's the question. Let me go What's to our question mm -hmm. here. Hey, hey. Bob. Jersey, Jersey boys. boys, how's it going? Right. Our Jersey boy. Hey, mm -hmm. what's something you've been told about money? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's something you've been told about money? I want to see some of the things that people okay. have been told about money. Like growing up, right. and yeah, parents said, right. Teacher said, whatever. Because because what we've been told and what we believe about money mm -hmm. has a lot to do whether or not. We're going to make money or not. Mm, okay. I think so, huh? And so, oh, man, we see it time and time again. You know yeah. it. Well, I know. I'm, you know it. <laughs> I mean, we get right. <laughs> okay, well, I guess right. Hey, Matt hey, Delnay. Delnay's in the house. Delnay's in the house. All right. Hi, Tara. Tara, Tara good to have you here. Hi, Tara. All right. Good to have I'm you here. I your name, your name, but welcome. So, Joe Bates. So what's, yes. So what's something you've been told about? Money doesn't grow on trees. Money doesn't grow on trees. Aaron, money's money evil. Money is evil. But what's the, how does that evil. really go? Because uh, money is evil. That's not true. And, and people try to quote quote scripture saying money is evil. That's not true. Well, right. How how does it go, guys? What does it say in scripture that money is the root? What? Hello. Don't give it away. I, I know, I know the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I know the I'm not kidding. School. I know the answer. <laughs> pick me. Pick me. Right. Money is hard to come by. Hard to come by. That's right. It's hard to right. come by. Um, money is and what's another? Money, what about you, baby? Money doesn't grow on trees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. A penny saved is a penny earned. Mm -hmm. You know, it's pennies. You know, that's right. If you know, it, I, I want to hear some of this stuff. But we see that there's a common, there's a common thread, mm -hmm. especially among working class here, mm -hmm. from where we come from. Where we come if you from. notice, it's all mm -hmm. kind of a scarcity kind of a definitely. Bent. You know, like we're mm -hmm. all going to die. Right. And there's not enough. Right. There's not, not enough. enough there's only, and it's, there's if someone else is taking your money. Yes. 
Right. There's only so there's a, the pie's only so big. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you don't get yours, the, the love, love of, of money. money. Thank you, Bo. Right. Um, the love of money. The love Jim of said, money is the root of oh. all evil. Right. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Mm -hmm. And the money. love means not money. Not right. money. Let's and usually clear. it comes from. We're going to kind of get into this, and this yeah. is going to get. I don't want to go oh, so deep into shark. this. Right. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> but the idea that that love of money, that focus on money, mm -hmm. the focus on every mm -hmm. little, the yes. money, the focus on every little thing, mm -hmm. winds up just taking you down a path that just correct isn't, isn't good. Not good. Okay. Yep. Kind all right. A lot of people out there know their their right. Bible verses. The love of money. Guys. Is Must the root VBS or of something. evil, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Hey, so we're going to get into. <laughs> I know, I know. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I want to. There's, you yes. know, and it, it's this thing of deep. This is this is a deep seated thing. Mm -hmm. the, this money thing. Right. Okay, and so of course we have our plumbing business, and we want to we want to make. How can we make more money? And right. that, that's a common question. Mm -hmm. You know, I, more money? I, you know, how do I make make more money? Right. Do I look mm -hmm. like I made a money? Right. <laughs> right. Do I look <laughs> like right. I made money? Right. What does anybody mean? Right. 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 <laughs> Every so, parent has said that. Right, it look to like their I'm, kids. right. You know, but uh, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Sorry, you were, okay. was something really good. Yeah, that was really, really well. Good. The, well, the idea, you know, this is deep seated stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, with the money, I and mean, we want to make more money with our plumbing business. Yes. And again, that that is a question we get. Okay, mm -hmm. we're still waiting on that money tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> and you, you, hey guys, and you have a money tree. That's right. Okay, that's what we're going to get at here. Especially if, if, if you're if you're a plumbing business owner, mm -hmm. you have a money tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you have a money tree. In fact, you have a money machine. Okay, but it's, it's, it's all on how you look at it and mm -hmm. what you do with it. Right. The problem is, is we've been conditioned to think a certain way, and so we wind up just, you know, killing the money mm -hmm. tree. Killing wind the, up, mm -hmm. you know, poisoning it. Right, poisoning chopping it down. Tree. Okay, scary to spend money. Hi, scary. Sandra. Ooh, it's scary. Right. Yeah, go, ooh, ooh, don't spend yes, any don't money. Spend it, you never You're going to die. Put your mask on and don't spend any money. <laughs> You're going to die. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. So there, it's a deep seated, it is. A deep seated thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I want, I guess I need to, you know, have a disclaimer here and maybe, you know, qualify it. a little bit, preface mm -hmm. a little bit here. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's, you know, there's all kinds of ways to make money. Okay. Of course. I'm talking about, this is the MDP way. Okay. okay. We're, we're talking about, um, you know, growing a, a million dollar plus, you know, plumbing, plumbing business. business. Mm -hmm. While having a life too. While having a life too. While having a life too. Right. So I know that's kind of open ended, mm -hmm. you know. And well, we don't have all the time. What do you want to go, your life? You know. What do you want for right. your life, right? But part mm -hmm. of this is, is is having a life too. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in our in our idea of having a life too is what we call the freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like what we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, where we just took off. Now yesterday was Sunday for mm -hmm. many people. To us, our days. You know, the freedom lifestyle. There, there isn't a Monday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, Friday, mm -hmm. or weekend. Mm -hmm. It's just. They're just days. Right. Now, there is a reality to the rest of the world works on certain days. Certainly. You know, mm -hmm. and, and so. Um, and Party Talk Live is on a Monday. And on a Monday, right. You know. Okay, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, the freedom lifestyle is just the ability to, to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Right. And not be controlled by something. Correct. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of what we're into as well. Okay. Yes. So a little disclaimer there. Okay. Got it. When we talk about there's lots of ways to make money. There's lots yes. of ways to make money mm -hmm. with your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that these other ways aren't successful. Mm-hmm. I know lots of guys and gals, mm -hmm. gals that have plumbing businesses or whatever mm -hmm. that are very successful doing mm -hmm. it the other way. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes, more, more than one way to right. skin a cat. Skin all right, a cat. you exactly have to spend right. money to make money. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a, okay. Well, that one is actually true. Uh, that, that's, that's right. <laughs> okay. That one is totally all right. true, Scott. Okay. <laughs> so let's get it. How, okay. how can we, so how, how can we make more money with your plumbing business? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's number, do it. Number, number one. one. Number what one. Is it? Point number one. There we have it. Charge what you're worth. <laughs> Charge well, what you're worth. Now, the problem <laughs> there is, deep down inside, we don't think we're worth a lot. Mm. I know, I know you guys are, I'm worth, I'm, worth, I'm, worth, mm. I'm worth a lot, whatever. That's why you're charging $100 an words. hour. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, that's why, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Because you think that's a lot, right? Because mm -hmm. you, right, you think that's a lot, right? And I, can't, well, I can't. I'm not going to charge what those big guys are those charging. I'm ripping guys. people off, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you got to charge what you're worth. So part of that is psychologically what mm -hmm. we what we believe we're worth inside. Mm -hmm. That that's a biggie right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a, that's something we overcome right away. Yes. We have to overcome right away mm -hmm. in, in the Success Academy right. and with, with our right. clients and work mm -hmm. with. Because look, look, guys, I, I brother, I talk to my brothers. 
<laughs> I get you. Okay, we come from the same place. We may be, well, we, who's our mate? Down under, you know, we're we come cleat. from, di- right, we're, mm-hmm. cleat, we're, we're from different countries, mm-hmm. okay? Kind of speak the English a little different, you know, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Drive on the different, different side of the road, I think. Word right. say. Okay. I know it's English. Uh, but. but we come from working class. We're, we're very much the same. And we've been conditioned the same way to think about money. Correct. And our worth. Mm-hmm. So there's a psychological element. But there's also a, a true you know, a business element mm-hmm. of actually charging what it takes to do the job, mm-hmm. to have the business, not just do the job, but have the business and profit. Because if you're not making profit, mm-hmm. it's a hobby. It's a hobby. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Sadly, most guys don't even have a hobby. <laughs> it's a death sentence. <laughs> okay. You know. So you got to you got to charge what what you're worth, what it, what it costs to do do the job. Right. Okay. So okay. you got to know what I call your honest hourly rate, mm-hmm. and I call it that mm-hmm. because you're not being honest with yourself, with or- yourself or your customer. In fact, right. you're stealing. I might have taken it as far as you're stealing from your customer mm-hmm. if you don't know why you're charging what you're charging. Yes, and we actually even talked about this in last our last Potty Talk Live with our masters, right? We did talk about hourly oh, yeah. rate. Yeah. So if you missed that, that's a great episode to go back and watch. Some of the um, some of our it. clients that have been through the Success Academy, they started out kind of clueless on what their hourly rate should be, um, went through the whole process, and, and, and we, we all they did charge it. what they're and, worth. Right, and, and we all did it, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Now I'm not talking to the guys. I mean, I get, I, I, love, I get, you know, we're getting big enough where I get all the com- we get the comments back. Comments back, you know, the haters okay. or whatever, and like on well, different because we have ads out and, and, and like that kind of stuff. Right, you okay. see, even the comments on the videos. Mm-hmm. Well, you shouldn't have to charge more than that. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't have to charge more than that. <laughs> you can be a dead man plumbing, but you know, mm-hmm. I want to live. Mm-hmm. I don't want to wear the mask. Mm-hmm. I want to breathe. <laughs> I want to be free. All right. You charge you charge eighty five bucks an hour. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> you you'll know? be doing that until right. the day your knees give out. That, your back that's gives exactly. Out. You mm-hmm. basically own your job. Right. You know, mm-hmm. Mr. Fancy Pants. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, but it's you need to charge what you know what you need to charge. You need to charge your honest hourly rate. Right. Cover for all your time, mm-hmm. all your expenses, mm-hmm. all all your growth, your mm-hmm. short term growth expenses, right. and then profit. Profit. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Both says I used to feel like a prisoner in a cage mm-hmm. I built. <laughs> MDP taught me where to find the key to that cage. Wow. That's well, that a, was poetic. That's a good one, Bo. Thank Thanks, Bo. We need to put that in your right. head. Okay. <laughs> Write that down, Bo. Hey, and these keys are right in front of your face. Mm. Look, I, I, we're not going to. These are very simple things. Mm-hmm. These are very simple concepts. Not mm-hmm. necessarily easy, mm-hmm. um, especially with the idea, you know, and they're not easy in a sense like charging what you're worth. Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, there's a lot, a lot to get over psychologically with that. Correct. But mm-hmm. we do carry a lot of baggage about money. Right. We have a lot of baggage mm-hmm. about money because mm-hmm. we just haven't been taught this way. We've been, we've been taught and conditioned to get in line. Mm-hmm. And we can see that all around us today. Okay. I know I'm not going to go out there, yeah. but you can see it. I mean, it's just <laughs> obvious. Okay. No one thinks for yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're, we're taught to get in line. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. So the idea that I'm worth charging x mm. amount right well my business okay needs. and i can have more than what i just need mm-hmm. okay psychologically is a difficult thing to get over correct and we're not taught the business side of things mm. in fact you're not oh, you're that's... not taught this kind of stuff in business school no you're not even taught this in business school right let alone trade school right you know and you don't learn it you know plumbing a house or you know no i said you, you know not. under no. a sink or Mm-mm. Your head in the toilet, you know. <laughs> hey, we lo- and there's nothing wrong. I'm proud of that. I'm a master plumber, mm-hmm. even though my hands are clean. <laughs> okay. My hands are clean. We're referencing. Okay, but there's paper cuts from counting all the money. Okay, okay? all right. Brother. But I got clean hands. Okay. okay? Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> know your worth. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got to get it figured out. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. All right. So that's point one. Right? Know your worth. All right. Number two. To make you more money with your plumbing business. business. Hit it, Shelby. Number oh, two. Where shall we go? Shall we come back? There we go. All right. <laughs> Add another service tech. Add another service tech. Mm. And How, truck. We say the truck, but this idea okay. of adding another service tech. How can you make more money with your plumbing business? Right. That's it. Right. Add, add another service to, mm. um, tech. Mm-hmm. Okay. A t- huge trap that, mm. that we get caught in is the idea of kind of squeezing all that we can mm. out of out of the the truck that we have the trucks that we have right. of getting that average ticket up and up and up mm-hmm. okay and so we bring on we got to make our guy you know a super salesman which mm. they'll never be nope. okay you're wasting your time mm. trying to train these guys to be salesmen mm. okay mm-hmm. first of all they're not going to be good at it the customer is going to pick up on it okay we, we just want them to serve 
Just serve, just right? Serve Mrs. Jones. And, and you can do it in a way we, you know, we, we've talked about this before by the, the simplest, easiest way for your guys, mm-hmm. and the most comfortable way for your customer is to provide options. Provide three options: mm-hmm. good, better, best. Watch your tickets go up, okay? Mm-hmm. And then ride that ride with the truck b- based on just what happens to be and what customer you run into, mm-hmm. okay? But we get so focused on trying to squeeze as much mm-hmm. out of that truck, right. okay? And we end up hurting ourselves because we've got guys running through jobs. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. And we just, we're just focusing on that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just add another service tech and truck. Mm-hmm. All right, Sandra. Yeah. Sandra, all right. Okay. Good for you guys. Right. Yay. You know, you want to make more money, mm-hmm. add another truck mm-hmm. and, and a service tech. Yes, and provide options. Oh, right. Absolutely. Always hiring. That's right, Patrick. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Always, always be That's recruiting. Guy, always, I always. Believe. Yeah, there we go. Right. Always, always, mm-hmm. always, okay? Don't stop. Ever, now, now ever, can ever, you, ever. now, are there companies that do very well? Mm-hmm. I mean, we've worked at these companies. Yeah, we work, there's companies where there's constant focus on average ticket, mm-hmm. and you've got to be higher. And then what, what, what the trap is, okay, my average ticket's now 800 bucks, and now, now they bring you in for the meeting. Come on, we've all been there, bring you in for the meeting. Well, you had a great last quarter, mm-hmm. and your average ticket was $800. What do you think it should be now? <laughs> what should you strive for now? Mm-hmm. Which is just, uh, you know, a soft... Uh, aggressive way <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> to say we're not going to raise your average ticket pressure on you right. okay mm-hmm. so you, you're putting that pressure on your guys and then all the focus is on that mm-hmm. look we were um you know yes. we you know can you make money that way yes but again we're talking about the freedom lifestyle correct where you're not constantly focused on right you know where, where this thing can run as as simply as possible mm-hmm. with the least amount of babysitting yes. as possible where you don't have to be there as much mm-hmm. as possible. Right. And it's systemized. We <laughs> right. systemize you. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's just easy on the guys, and it's mm-hmm. easy for the guys to take care of the customers. Right. And, and the customers are comfortable in that situation. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay. So we found if we wanted to make more money, mm-hmm. we added a truck. Mm-hmm. Boom. Boom. There, there we go. Mm-hmm. All right. It really is that simple. <laughs> I know. Some things know. are just simple and we, we but, tend to make it more complicated. Well, we want to. Well, mm-hmm. that that's that's the thing. Mm-hmm. You know that that's my thing. It's like it's, I want to hold it. With the guy, it's your thing. Is we want to we want to make this complexity mm-hmm. starts. You know, we want to make things complex. It's mm-hmm. like it makes us sound look smarter or something. Mm-hmm. Like if I make this a problem, mm-hmm. you know, well, and, and, and a hassle, and, right? <laughs> and make it more complex. Problem, it has to be that way because wish. I feel guilty for making this money. Mm-hmm. So at least at least got to be beaten. There ought to be problems all the time, mm-hmm. you know? Nah. Yeah, right. Nah. Okay. No so problems here. Add a truck, mm-hmm. okay? <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Add, a, add a truck and a guy, mm-hmm. you know? Add a truck and get a butt in that truck. Mm-hmm. And, uh, add get... a truck, a tech, a truck, and a butt. There we go. <laughs> well, uh, a, a truck and a butt. <laughs> you know, we ought to come up with some kind of saying. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. It is an investment. It, exactly it, right. it is an investment, mm-hmm. okay? All right. And mm-hmm. what, what you'll find is as you focus, as, as you work on the systems and you're, you're kind of driving that, you know, providing options mm-hmm. and just that process, your guys will naturally, some will kind of rise to the top yes. and, and you'll, see your, to the right, top. you'll see your average ticket just creep up mm-hmm. just organically mm-hmm. because it's, it's allowing them to feel comfortable. Correct. Okay. Can mm-hmm. you whip the guys? Sure. I mean, there's, there's plenty of examples in history and sure. everything where you can, just, you can just beat people to death, mm-hmm. you know, to get them to do what you want. Mm-hmm. I mean, Fear works, <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fear works. But if you We're don't all... want to do that, right? <laughs> okay. You won't right. Fear. okay. But if you don't want right. to live that way, right. This is an alternative, right? Correct. There we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> hey, if you want to learn more about that, you know, I, I discuss mm-hmm. all the, these yes. kinds of this kind of concepts mm-hmm. and, and these other kind of concepts. And something very, very free. And very, very free. <laughs> all right. A million dollar plumber blueprint. All right. Is it free to you? All right. Lays out the specs to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business, mm-hmm. all right, that you can make a lot of money with, mm-hmm. all right? It's all in there for I you, have a lot too. and it's free, mm-hmm. all right? Simply type free in the comments, mm-hmm. or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free, and get your free blueprint, mm-hmm. all right? There we go. Grab it. Mm-hmm. Do so grab it. So we're talking it. about how to make more money with your plumbing business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it sound good? You want to make more money with your plumbing business? I don't, raise your hand, maybe, all right. if you do. Hello. Okay, I want to make more money with your plumbing plumb business. business. More okay, money. More, make, money, more, more money, more money, more money, more money. All right, charge mm-hmm. what you're worth. Yep. Okay, there's mm-hmm. a lot. There's a lot there. There's mm-hmm. psychological trash we got to get through, but mm-hmm. also the business side of actually figuring out what it costs to operate our business plus a profit. Mm-hmm. Okay, charge what you're worth. Charge what you're worth. Okay, number two. Mm-hmm. All right, add an, add another tech in a truck. Mm-hmm. 
Get a truck and a butt. <laughs> okay? And a butt and a truck. All right? And get it in Mrs. Jones's driveway. Mm-hmm. All right? Watch all of a sudden you're making more money. Mm-hmm. You know, that kind of – because you know, the economies of scale kick in. It's a, really, okay. it's a really cool concept. We see this, you know, when, it, when it's one guy – look, it, it costs one guy operating – by mm-hmm. himself, mm-hmm. more. It costs more. It costs more to operate than what it costs a, a big company with mm-hmm. 50 trucks. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Per, per per guy. Right, per truck. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. So you really should be charging what the big company is <laughs> starting out. That, that's the problem. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. But it, those economy, it's called economies of scale will kick mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. Okay. So all of a sudden, and we see it about, you know, I get asked all the time, when's a good time to, you know, get a GM or a service manager, that mm-hmm. kind of a thing. Or when should I be out of the truck? It's about right. truck number four. Right. You can mm-hmm. see the numbers start to kick in where all of a sudden you're, mm-hmm. you're making more money than what it costs to operate by, by a good margin. Right. So it, it adds up. Yes. So when you bring on another truck, the cost of the truck, and do you, do you buy a beater truck, mm. piece of crap truck, nope. and paint it, put some duct tape on it, Bondo, <laughs> whatever? Or do you, no, you go, do go get a new truck? You go get a new truck. Mm. So even that new Ooh, truck I'll payment, 700 me. bucks or whatever, mm. that kind of thing, and what it makes you, mm-hmm. all that other money really goes, to, so much of that money goes to the bottom line. Right. I mean, you mm-hmm. know, and you're, you're making a lot more money. Yes, okay? you just add another truck. Right. Oh, Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey, just add another truck and a <laughs> and butt, a butt today. today. All right. All right. Here's a guy that, that's plumbing. killing it. All right. We mm-hmm. made more money in August than we have yet. All right. Thank you. Mickey Thompson. Thank you, Mickey. Appreciate that. Top Hat Plumbing. All right. And they're doing it. Reed Springs. You know, these are, Low these Missouri. are, yep, these mm-hmm. are, these are simple things to do. Are they easy? I mean, I'm, oh yeah, I'm, Mickey and Ted. It's been a it's been a piece of cake. Right. It's it's oh, easy to just... find trucks right now. Right. It's easy. <laughs> easy to and find it's easy guys. to find butts. <laughs> well, there's a lot of butts out there, <laughs> but easy to find. You know, working butts <laughs> that you can put in your truck. Okay. Tierra no. saying nope, buy new. That's Bingo. right. Route sixty six oh. plumbing out of Amarillo. Okay. Texas. So, mm-hmm. but but these these are simple things you can do. Mm-hmm. All right, to make more money with your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Okay. And finally, and you, hey Daniel. Yes. Hey. hey, they just got some new trucks. That's right. Yes. You Iron know? Mountain Plumbing out of Utah. Oh, what's the name of their town? <gasps> okay, Sorry, Utah. 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 Something, something. You right. I didn't paint the rims. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, Aaron. He's okay. a card. That guy. That's yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, Aaron. Okay. Yeah, we all have a past. That's right. Right. And I never was a plumber either. <laughs> okay, stop. And the lovely Laura beats me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's right. Image is everything right. Mickey said. You're exactly right. Right. Exactly right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So new trucks. New trucks. Okay. You get a truck. And so, you get a truck. Right. You so get a truck. get a truck. So mm-hmm. is it simple? You know, right now, you know, you, it's, it's the way you look at things. Don't don't fall back and whine and cry and bitch and moan about, mm-hmm. you know, well, I can't find any trucks and all that. Mm-hmm. That's The winners don't do that. Whiners yep. do that. Whiners do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, it's, you know, not necessarily easy, mm-hmm. um, but it is simple. Go out and get a truck. Right. Buy right. a truck. Not easy, but worth it. Like right. said. Yep. All right, and it's mm-hmm. going to rain sometimes, right, Mickey? I mean, sometimes <laughs> it's just rough. We hit rough patches, mm-hmm. okay? Especially as we're as we're building here, so yes. we're getting up that past that that, that fourth and fifth truck, mm-hmm. okay? I mean, we're going from one, you know, two, three, four mm-hmm. in that in that area. I mean, it 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 is tough, guys. It is tough. It, it is mm-hmm. tough. Yep. Just got a new hey, new to me van and put three quarter wrap on it. First month with work every day. <gasps> all right, BB. Things are looking good. Like all right. Good for okay. You, buddy. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that leads to mm-hmm. let, let's let's look at the, the third item here. Okay. Point okay? three. Okay. Want to focus on the top line. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. You know, there's a saying here that, that I, I was taught and, and remember, and it comes up every so often, but sure. what we focus on becomes our view. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Think about that. I shall. What we focus on mm-hmm. becomes our view. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we get so caught up. Um, you know, that's why, I'm, you know, there, there's, there's other coaches and systems out there, and there's, sure. there, all, there's just good stuff out there. Mm-hmm. Out there. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Right. Of course, like, I and feel. there's bad ones, too. I feel this so. is the best. <laughs> all right? Okay, someone who actually built a plumbing business <laughs> from the ground up, <laughs> all right, has gone through all the pain, okay, <laughs> and had to make these decisions <laughs> and had successes and failures <laughs> and still survived, <laughs> you know? You know, barely so sometimes, <laughs> barely some, right? All the, right, you know, through that, okay. Mm-hmm. But it's what what you focus on, okay. And some of these systems get you focusing on, you know, all the numbers, mm-hmm. okay. In fact, I get the, the guys that are so focused on all the you know percentage numbers and mm-hmm. all the little little numbers with everything that had you know you know this and that. <laughs> Those guys scare me, not not because of, for me. I'm not scared, you mm-hmm. know, they're going to get me. I'm scared for them. Mm-hmm. 
because yeah. okay, I feel bad for them because you're never you're focusing on the mm. scarcity. Right. Okay. You're you're looking down. Mm. You're you're lo- you're looking at the bottom line. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. In fact, you know you're, you're counting nickels and dimes mm. instead stepping of dollars. Over, yep. Stepping over dollars for pennies. Right. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know it's that it's that scarcity mindset mm-hmm. versus you know plenty. So when mindset. you focus on the top line, you mean. Well, you know, if you want to make more money, look at the top line mm-hmm. and be focused on thinking on how can I make more money? Right. Grow. How, grow can, how, can, how can I bring more money? Grow as, the top line. As in. opposed to constantly cutting, 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 cutting right. from the bottom. Okay. As soon as, you know, things go bad, we need to cut out cable and we need to cut out this. We need to cut. No, you need to bring more money to the top line. Right. Fo- That's what you focus fo- on. Focus on that. Because right. soon, as soon as we start focusing on, you know, the fear mm-hmm. and the scarcity and we're all going to die. Mm-hmm. Again, we have great example happening. I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not going to say it. We have a great example happening in our societies. If we all get cut off, go to the million dollar <laughs> right, right now. Slash show. And, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the players are purposely having us look at the worst case. Like, mm-hmm. here's what you're going to happen. Right. When when all the all the real numbers and the reality t- tells us, mm-hmm. it's like point zero 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 one mm-hmm. actually die of whatever. Of okay. not running your plumbing business the right way. Of not running your plumbing business the right way. Okay. And so we're focused <laughs> on that it. instead of the 99.99999 when you do operate your plumbing business the right way that mm-hmm. you succeed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. It works. You mm-hmm. see see how that works? Mm-hmm. That that fear and that drive mm-hmm. actually what rise, ones up driving you down. Mm-hmm. So Focusing on, you know, every, everything, you know, every expense. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying not to. I right. mean, here's not a, just go out and be willy-nilly, of course. Right. You've got to be um, mindful. Right. Mm-hmm. But, but, it, but it's, an, it's an attitude. Right. You know, mm-hmm. what, what am I focusing on? Mm-hmm. You, know, Focus what, on what, what, I'm, you know, am I looking up and mm-hmm. forward or am I, lo- you know, looking down and behind? Mm-hmm. You know, yep. and that's what, and, that's and sadly... Going. That's where a, a lot of plumbing businesses are. Mm-hmm. And that's why 99%, 95% rather, of plumbing businesses fail mm-hmm. within the first three years. Yep. And of the 5% that actually um, do survive are doing just that, living week surviving. to week. They're surviving because they're constantly focused on mm-hmm. the, the bottom line mm-hmm. instead of the top line. How, right. do, how do I grow my top line? Think of growth. Always right. think of growth. You, you focus mm-hmm. on... You know, it's and I, I get it. Well, we, we hear it all the time, even, even with, with our clients. The yes. hurdle we got to get over about mm-hmm. buying a truck. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't. They're all because we've been so conditioned with this Dave Ramsey stuff, which mm-hmm. is on. It's not that it's bad. We shouldn't have a bunch of credit card debt and that kind of stuff. Certainly not. But there is even Dave Ramsey didn't create his wealth without debt. Mm-hmm. But he don't tell you that. <laughs> mm-hmm. he, he didn't have. It wasn't that he has no debt. Mm-hmm. He has lots of debt. Mm-hmm. But he has smart debt. But he has smart debt. Right. Okay. Having a truck, you know, I hear, you know, guys will get all caught up about, you know, I got $70,000 in truck debt. That's, mm-hmm. that's not, nothing. Right. What, what's the payment? Mm-hmm. 700 bucks. What's that truck make you? Mm-hmm. What's that truck make you every day? Right. What's that truck make you every week? Mm-hmm. What's that truck make you every one, month? What's that truck make you over the life of that truck? Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. That's what you need to focus, focus on. Focus on that instead. Okay. That, that's what the wealthy do. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Here we go. Good one. I'm out so of breath. That, yeah. <laughs> I, I just I just want this for you. I see. I come from this, and it's, it's so mm-hmm. so 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 ingrained. Mm-hmm. Um, even to this day, sweetheart, we do it. <gasps> we do. I, I catch us doing it, mm-hmm. of of getting the the better deal on the, you know, on the yeah. ring or whatever oh. or the car. I mean, you know, well, there, there, yeah. there's 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 mm-hmm. there's this thing of mm-hmm. like. You know, like some, somewhat ingrained. Right. Yeah. They, we have to break. Right. We, yeah. Certainly better. But yeah. You know, mm-hmm. e- even in, you know, even, you know, we past even, even in food, I find we, we do mm. that. We do. Yeah. How, well, you call us out because I don't recall um, us doing that. We, we, it's we, you. It's got to be do. you. <laughs> no, sure I didn't. It's not me. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> But it never, it never quite leaves you. So if you, you never, there, there is a sense that it's always there. It's always there. Yeah. In, in, Sometimes in it's this, the in, this generation, knee-jerk response. Right. Right. Because we've been conditioned that way. That's mm-hmm. why a lot of times, and I'm kind of going off a little squirrel thing here, but really? a little rabbit trail sure. rather. But the idea. That's why you see a lot of second-generation businesses mm-hmm. don't do as well. Mm-hmm. 
or they, they start going down because they haven't come up. They're not so focused on anything. They right. just have the money, mm -hmm. and they, they haven't had to create anything right. and, and do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's unless you're really taught that second generation. Yes. And, and of course, even in the third generation, right. it's a tough. It's a tough thing. Definitely. So, mm -hmm. so that's how you make more money with your plumbing business. That's, that's, so it's, it. it's simple. Uno, dos, it's simple. Tres. All right. Mm -hmm. Charge what you're worth. That's a biggie. Okay. That's a worth. biggie. Charge what you're mm -hmm. worth. Add another service tech. Get butts. All right. That's what we should have had is the lower get, third saying. Get butts. Get butts. <laughs> get butts. All right. Get another truck mm -hmm. and get a butt in that truck. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> make you more money. More money. And then finally. <laughs> Focus on the top line. Mm. Don't get caught up in, in all the percentages and all this other kind of stuff, mm. you know, down, down below. Not, not that that's not important and not that, you know, you get down the road and you, you start, you know. I, I, yes, what are you I got to be honest. I didn't even do that. Mm. <laughs> I didn't care. You know, the whole point, you know, mm. I mean, like with Nextar and all that is to mm. get your is get your labor percentage down. It's mm. constantly drive to get your labor percentage down to 18 percent. Right. Mm hmm. I mean, 18%. Mm -hmm. Got to get 18%. 18%. Mm -hmm. Mine was 24%. <laughs> My guys are paid, but you keep going. I mean, right. but, but, I was making, but I was making all the money I wanted to make. We mm -hmm. had good, great profits. Freedom lifestyle. You know, the freedom, right, mm -hmm. and that, that kind of stuff. Right. You know, so do we have to focus on that? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't, I didn't with our parts. No, you, you know, mm -mm. I, I I didn't I didn't with our we parts. Nickel and dime I, I didn't nickel dime. I didn't find my right. Mm -hmm. In fact, but we had our things on consignment. Mm -hmm. our, our you know our, our supplier was consignment. Right, which is beautiful. <laughs> right, took said, care of us. Way to break the mindset that my father-in-law had in order to be successful. Exactly, right. Yeah, because it's some it's That's, a mindset that gets handed down. And it's not it's not that it's bad or mm -hmm. or wrong. But that's that's that that mentality mm -hmm. that that mindset where right. it just kind of keeps you stuck where you can't grow past a certain right you know yeah, that just, those dreams that you want mm -hmm. that that you may have of of you know when I talk you know when I when I talk with our clients and, mm -hmm. and prospective clients and with, with other you know a lot of times a lot of things I times I hear is that they want this freedom they want control freedom yes. freedom this, this freedom time, of time freedom. Yep. Mm -hmm. Control their time, right. okay, and, and that that kind of a thing, mm -hmm. and at the same time having security, okay, right. and so definitely you know, security, mm -hmm. right? So, the, but there's a mindset we've been conditioned yes. to depend, you know, to run a certain way and mm -hmm. depend on other things, mm -hmm. um, you know, to, to take care of us. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I'm not going to go off the deep end, but, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and, and it's where totally. I come from. <laughs> you know, it's where it's where we come from. Of course. You know, we yeah. still see it in our families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we. we you know, we, definitely. We, we've talked about that. Right. Where we come from. So we get right. it. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So there you go. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Um, you have anything to add to that? <laughs> no, I guess you can. Did I give you any opportunity to add anything to that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, did I lie? Um, okay. No, not once. Okay. Not even once. All right. Good for you, baby. Okay. <laughs> no. Hope you have anything to offer tonight? Yeah. Uh, we're well, certainly on these things. What I we just talked about. Might. Okay. Especially Are you on. Still here? Are you okay? Yeah, I am. You're thinking of something else. I think right. <laughs> and you're not going to go there. So. Yeah, I'm not going to go there. All right. No, th this mm. is this is big stuff here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty deep stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. But all the stuff of charging, knowing how to charge what you're worth, mm -hmm. and the, the psychology, and even how how to do it. Okay. You know how to look at uh, you know getting another service truck and, mm -hmm. and and getting a butt in that truck and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then in how to what numbers to focus on okay that are important that you can truly grow your plumbing business all right and have the freedom lifestyle have okay live too. the life that, that you really want to live mm -hmm. okay we cover all that in my million dollar plumber success academy Dude. okay it's it's all in there okay i, I and i made it simple and easy you know 12 bite-sized mo modules okay i lay it out so it's easy to you know to, to consume Adjust. okay right all right you do have the time okay mm -hmm. all right all right, you, you know they don't teach this stuff in business school. Mm -hmm. They don't teach this stuff in business school. And you, you would spend, I think the average cost of business school was like uh, eighty-seven thousand dollars now. And I think that's low. Well, for the right. four four years. Yeah, for the yeah. four four. You, you don't you don't even learn this stuff. You right. wouldn't come. You don't come out even know how to operate a business, mm. or no. even certainly not even how to grow a business. No. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. But but it's all laid in there for you on how to grow your plumbing business. Yes. Okay. In the Success I Academy. Type success. success in the comments <laughs> or go to the million dollar plumber .com forward slash success and grab your free mm -hmm. trial. Okay, it's all there trial. for you. So do it, all right? Okay. Because you were purposely and wonderfully created <laughs> and you were created to do great things. So do this and come like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live.
with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.